last video we learned how to you know uh, enable prometheus metrics from any uh, .NET core application all right so we were using a uh, user management service so i'll just run it and just you just show you a quick walkthrough of that so as you can see it's running on port number 6001 and if i hit uh, uh, matrix so path you can see this matrix is coming okay and the last video we saw like uh, these matrix we were able to see in the prometheus so if i say something like uh, uh, up there is this one query like what what all services are you know are running, are running are running right now so you can see this so uh, is minutes and services ready now there is something called grafana so these matrix right uh, i mean to say these matrix we can see in a grafana in a very beautiful charts I'll just show you uh, which I have over here. So you can download this Grafana from their official website, Grafana slash download. And once you download, by default, it runs on port number 3000. All right, just log in default username and password is admin admin. It will ask you to change the password for the first time. Once you are done with that, you simply log in and you will be able to see this screen. All right. So what you need to do first you need to add the data source data source means from where you will be getting the matrix since i was already having so it's showing over here otherwise what you could do is simply say add data source and click on it uh, so you, do, you have like these many time series something like so you can select prometheus and here you put the port number it, it's uh, showing right uh, it's uh, like giving a hint like by default it runs 9090 port number i mean to say prometheus is. so once you add uh, you, you will be able to see this will be coming over here since I added again so that's why it's come here and just delete this simply all right so next step is to see these metrics so I will like these are so many metrics like so we will just pick one of them like like up was there like this is one query so we will see like uh, how to see this kind of queries like for example if we see in the Prometheus uh, um, graph it looks like this like showing it was up down then again now the service is up and running all right so what you can do you go back to the same screen which is not this one i mean grafana and yes here click on dashboards you can see right now the, oh, we need to there is no dashboard these are by default which comes with the grafana you can import them okay so now let's create a new dashboard for us and we'll give a name like um, um, we can say portfolio manager manager okay so now we can see our dashboard must be showing over here you can see it's showing over here right now it doesn't have any graphs over it so we just click on the plus button add query and this you select prometheus you have a whatever data source you provided right so, so since we created just now the prometheus you select from here and once you select you hide the matrix over here so i'll just simply show uh, first one up key up means like what all services are up and you can see it's showing here this is just a toggle button and just simply click on save and before doing that i just want to give a name there will be some way i think just save it for the first time and then save it it's done and then there is a way to change the title i think yeah it's over here so you can say uh, services status all right and once you save it it got changed now you just go back to the dashboard again showing here if you click on the portfolio manager you can see the services up and running and there are a lot, a lot of filters you can apply on that so if i say last seven days you can say there was the service was not running if i just say last five minutes or 15 30 minutes you can see it was up then it's you can see it was down at this time it shows zero right if i go up and then now with the service is running you can say let's stop the service so that uh, the graph will come down you can see the service is now down just uh we need to refresh you can see now the uh, yellow orange kind of uh, bar is there right it came down 
and it's showing the user and user services down. All right, so this way we can, you know, add the matrix into the Grafana and we can visualize in a better way. All right, there are many queries, so like uh, you can add it just like uh, right now I added only the up query. Likewise, what you could do, just run the service again. So the query is this one, I think. Yeah, this is the one. So I'll simply click on plus button and say add query and then just give the query before first we'll select Prometheus and then type the query over here and just simply click on this so you can see the query is coming over it so since initially it was six then seven then eight all right because we pressed that in those many times now simply save it but before saving I just want to give a name you can say request to count or something for simplicity I'm giving this name you can give type any comment if you want to save it go back to the dashboard you can see right now they are showing two so this is for the service status and the, this one is for the um, you can say like uh, like how many which API is used so you can see that right now I have a query for cat and right now like six count we have it let's uh, trigger some more times I'll just go back to this one and this time I'll trigger five times let's say one, two, four, five. All right, so eight plus five, it has to become 13, right? Go back to the Grafana, simply refresh it. See, it's showing uh, 13. You can see the graph is going up. All right. All right, this is all about uh, Grafana, how we can see matrix and Prometheus in the very beautiful charts. Thank you very much.